All right, hello everyone. Eric Marks here again with FindingMiddleEarth.com, and today I'm here with another On One Photo Raw video. So this is the 2017.5 update that they released earlier today, and I'm going to show you another new feature. So this feature is called Compare Mode. This is going to be really nice for the wedding and portrait photographers, especially that have tons of photos they have to go through uh, in order to choose their favorite one. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how it works in practice. Let's go ahead and get started. So you can see this series of photos here that I took of this cow on a farm. And basically, I just took this series because the cow was taking a few steps forward and backward. He was moving his head. So I just wanted to make sure that I had uh, enough options back in post-production so that I could have a tack sharp image because my focus point was kind of drifting left and right, trying to follow his face. Uh, and of course, there's a few where the cow is looking at the camera, some where he's uh, eating the grass. So I just want to see which one I like better. So basically, I'm going to uh, select the first photo and then we'll select um, these five here. So total of six photos photos here. You just hold the shift key and select the others. And let's hit the C key on our keyboard, or you can click the icon down here, and that will take you into compare mode. So one really, really nice feature in compare mode is that if you hold the shift key and then zoom in or move the photo, it applies the exact same effect to every other photo. So if I hold the shift key and zoom in on one photo, it zooms in on them all. So that way I can literally compare them at 100% view. And the same thing, if I hold the shift key and I move them left and right, you can see all of them move. So what's really nice is if I let go of the shift key, now I have individual control over the image that is selected. So if I wanna move this one, I just click on the image that I want to move around and I can individually affect them. Same thing with zooming. I can individually zoom in and out on an image or I can hold shift and I have control of all of them once again. Okay, so just looking at these six, uh, I think that the third one here is the sharpest from what I can see. Um, so the nice thing about this is if you have 15 or 30 images, okay, and you're dealing with a lot of them from an event or a wedding or something, uh, and you're kind of using this process of elimination to get rid of them, um, then you can actually choose the photos as you go that you don't want, and you can hit the backslash key on your keyboard and it will just get rid of them. So the backslash key gets rid of that one, and get rid of that one. And as you can see, as I'm getting rid of the photos, it's actually reallocating the space on my computer display. So it's it's reforming the cells of the photos uh, to just fit a nicer space for me to look at. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one. And then now we have these three. And I think I just deleted the one that was my favorite, but that doesn't matter. This is all just an, ex an example. So we'll just say this one's my favorite. And uh, at this point, since there's only three photos, I don't have to keep removing photos. I know this is the one I want. So I can come down here to these stars and click the five. And so it, as you can see here in the film strip, it automatically five starred that photo for me when I get back into the grid view. And I know this is my favorite photo. So now I can just uh, zoom them all back out and I can go back into my grid view and that is my five star. And so I can continue to do that. So if I have these, for example, I have these series of photos up here that I shot of this leaf. So I can choose the first one and the last one, hit the C on the keyboard, and I'll hold the shift key and zoom in. And now we have the same thing. So I can tell already immediately that the second one is sharper than all the others. Okay, these two are a little soft and the two to the left are sharper. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this, uh, I think I already did this earlier actually. You can see this is my five star image. And then I can either press the uh, backslash key to get rid of these, or I can just simply go back into the grid view since there's only a few photos and know that that is my five star. And what's really nice is if you have, if you incorporate this compare mode into your workflow, you can see how nice it will be as you just, as you scroll through your grid of photos, you can just keep selecting, you know, big strips of photos uh, as you go down and you can just keep comparing, uh, you know, different things from an event or a wedding or a landscape shoot like I did here. And it just makes for a very quick and easy way to pick out your favorite photos from, you know, a sequence of photographs. So uh, that is the new compare mode. It's a wonderful feature. It's a very welcome feature that I'm going to use myself. And uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. If you would like to stay up to date on all of my photography videos and free tutorials, please consider subscribing by clicking on my face. And if you would like to find out more about me and how to improve your photography, visit my website at findingmiddleearth.com.